Well, greetings, people of the internet. Unky Joe here, Unky Joe's Playhouse. Today, a tool that no network admin or home lab user should be without, in my humble opinion. So what is this tool I speak of? Well, it's called Advanced IP Scanner and it's over here on the screen next to me. So let's go let's go take a look at it. It's completely free. Um, no strings attached. Uh, they have two versions. They have a version you can either install on your computer for for sake of argument, I'm installing it on my Windows 11 virtual machine so we can scan it. Uh, it'll scan a range of uh, network IPs, has a whole bunch of features. Again, free, as in free lunch, as in no charge, as in, you know, yada, yada. Uh, it's preferred by IT pros on Spiceworks, if that matters to you. And, um, yeah, uh, they offer this as a free download, so it'll either install or you can run it as a uh, portable program. And it's been free for years. It's a tool that I use. I, I happen to love it. And I guess the best way to talk more about it is to show you the tool in action. Now, I will say this. It's not very pretty. And as you can see, it's... Uh, let me turn the lights down in here. I don't need that much light on my face. That's for dang sure. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of an ugly interface, but it gets the job done. So basically... On this line, you put in your range of IP addresses, and they even give you an example here of how to do that. But let's go up here and look at the file settings. So uh, you can scan from a file. You can load favorites. Uh, you can show connections that are alive, show show ones that are, that are not active, uh, show unknown. Uh, you can show the action toolbar on the top if you wanted to. So right up there, I like to do that. Um, and you can show, they make another program called RA, Remote Admin, R Admin. So if you wanted to integrate that with this, this is kind of how they give you advanced IP scanner for free as they offer this other, these other products that they sell. Uh, you can lock the toolbars and you, then you can even show the details pane over here. So we'll turn that on as well, just to give you an idea what that looks like. Um, under settings, uh, under your options, uh, I'm going to have it scanned for all of these. Uh, I don't care about my NetBIOS group or active username, but you could you could change these to scan. Uh, I'm going to turn off RA admin because we're not using it, so it doesn't need to scan for it. Um, so I'm going to have it scanned for folders and printers, HTTP, HTTPS, FTP. RDP servers, etc. You can uh, set your performance so you can do high accuracy scanning. It's a lower speed to scan, uh, but it gets the job done. Or you can, you know, adjust a little slider here. And then under miscellaneous, they have uh, your commands for SSH, for Telnet, FTP client, and HTTP client. And I believe if you leave these blank, it's going to use the default. I think uh, for SSH, it'll use PuTTY if you have that installed. For FTP, I think it'll use FileZilla. And for HTTP, it will, of course, use Edge or whatever your default browser is. So I'm just going to click on OK. So basically, it's as simple as entering your IP range in here and clicking on the Scan button. Now, keep in mind, I have got a lot, a lot of stuff running on my network um, and a lot of this, uh, you're going to see on the names here, a lot of this depends on if you have your DNS or if you have a DNS server set up on your network. So if you don't have DNS set up on your network, uh, a DNS server to resolve your internal IPs to domain names, you're not probably going to see the name in the name field, but you will see an IP. Uh, but what I really like about this is it, it gives you a status so if you look at the little computer with the blue screen, that shows you that it's online. Um, it gives you the IP address, tells you who the manufacturer of the device is, 
gives you the MAC address and then uh, lists any comments. So you can also see that it also tells us on the details pane that the connection is alive. The IP, the MAC, manufacturer, it tells us that RDP is available. We've got a shared fold, a couple of shared folders on it, etc. Now the whole scan is not going to take very long to do. As you can see down at the bottom, you've got a green progress bar. So we'll let it finish scanning and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about it. All right, so the scan is finished now. You can see we've got uh, 68 machines alive, five dead and 181 unknown. Um, and what we can do here is let's come down to Prometheus. You notice there's a little arrow next to it. Well, first let's click on it. So that tells you it's alive. Uh, it doesn't uh, scan the operating system. Don't know why that's not something it does, but you know, no big deal. Tells you the NetBIOS name, user type, date, uh, comments. I already put these comments in here that it's a home server. And then it has RDP uh, running and it has a shared folder called media. So if I were to click on the little arrow next to it, you'll see that RDP tunnel is SSL, unknown service. And then it has the media share. But if I if I were to right click on Prometheus, it brings up a menu. So if I choose Explore, it's going to open a file explorer window. Uh, and there's my media. So here's my music, photos, my Steam games, and my video. So you can see where this program can come in very handy. Uh, same way if I right click on it and go to Tools. So if I wanted to make sure this machine, uh, say I was uh, rebooting the machine and I wanted to make sure it would come back online, I could just choose to ping this. It'll bring up a command prompt window and it'll just start pinging the heck out of this machine. And that way I would know, you know, if it went offline and, and came back online, I would know from the ping. Um, the other options you have are trace route. You can tell that into this. SSH into this if you uh, for example if it was a Linux machine or it had SSH running on it uh, If it had a website running on it, I could do both HTTPS and HTTP uh, If there was a FTP running I could do FTP uh, How about RDP? So if I click on RDP You'll notice it brings up a little uh, a little RDP login for me and I could then Type in my credentials. Click on OK. And bing, bang, boom, I am, uh, I'm connected to Prometheus. So I think you're starting to see the power of this program. So... If you're like me and your network changes uh, and is under flux all the time, this is a handy tool to have around to determine what you might have named something or where it might be on your network. Um, you could also uh, copy your shared folders, name, etc. You could rescan it, save it as, add it to your favorites, rename, edit, edit your comment, uh, and advance. You could even shut down or abort a shutdown. Uh, on a remote machine. So let's go to a machine that is, uh, let's go to our Dell 620. See if we can find it here. And um, I think it's at 199. Yeah, that's this one right here. So the other thing I can do, uh, if I right click and go to tools, I could go to HTTPS. And I could actually log into my iDRAC controller. So I think you're starting to get the idea of, of how well this program or how valuable this program could be for you. Uh, it's Again, it's free. Uh, tells you even the manufacturer of the uh, device, uh, of the network device usually is what that manufacturer is. Um, but in some cases, it'll even tell you it's a Dell server. Here's my TiVos. I've got a couple of Roku's. I've got an NVIDIA Shield. My Ubiquiti equipment is out there. Um, this is my uh, this is my firewall right here. So if I wanted to, I could just right click on it and go to 
edit comment and I could do PF sense firewall so there you go and then I could in theory I could uh, save as and we'll just call this subnet 5 uh, just so I know what it is so I could save it and then bring it up later if I needed to pretty handy huh so there you go. Not much to it, but it's something I've always wanted to discuss and uh, discuss with you all and show you uh, that I use. I use it on a daily basis. I use it both in my local network and in my client networks, and it just it'll make your life a whole lot easier if you don't. You know, if you've got stuff that's in flux on your network like I have on mine, it makes it really easy. It'll it'll do subnets. It's only limited by your imagination. So. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, go go download a copy of it. It's free. Uh, they again, they have a portable and they have a version you can install, um, and give it a try and see if you don't like it uh, and if it isn't useful to add to your networking toolbox. Well, there you go, folks. We hope you found the video entertaining and informative, if not a little bit shorter than usual. Uh, leave your comments down in the comments section. Please uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos when they come out. Uh, donate if you're so inclined. PayPal, Patreon, and the YouTube join function. They all help to uh, keep the channel afloat. Uh, thanks for coming to see us. Please come back and see us again. And don't forget, we'll see all of you on the other side. Oh, yeah, one more thing. UnkyJoesPlayhouse.com. It's got a link to all of our social media sites so you can reach us anywhere. And come join us on our Discord server. We'd love to see you there. Have a great one. Bye-bye.